ma vie de Tétis, ton père. C'était pas comme dans les belles histoires. Quelles histoires Comme quand le berger devient une princesse. Souvent, la vie n'est pas une chose de humain, Marie. Mais à fini, toujours bien. C'est vrai. Oui. Quand tu vas au paradis. Et voir Jésus-Christ. Oui. Et ton père et ta mère. Je ne sais pas si je veux aller au paradis. Pourquoi pas? Parce que je ne connais ni Jésus-Christ ni mes vêtements. Je ne connais que vous et tout le monde ici. Et je ne connais personne au parti. Tu connais Dieu, Marie. Et Dieu te connaît. Et Dieu te protégera toujours. C'est mon père. Dieu te protégera. Dieu te protégera. God will always watch over you. God will always watch. The holy man's body is compliant with the wind, as it is now the only force on earth that moves him. Well. First of all, the writing was great as usual, but it's not quite what our readers are looking for. We're trying to appeal to a wider demographic. People don't want to read something that's going to make them feel awful. This story is well written. Original, emotional, amazing description. But we do have to cater to our customers. Is our audience really that shallow? Yes. So, what am I supposed to do? Sell myself short? Go to Hollywood? No. But maybe you could write something that doesn't make me want to kill myself. <laughs> you doing okay? Yeah, fine. So, your writing's been kind of dark. Why not use that to create something really intense? Like a martyr, huh? I can't write stuff like that. It doesn't come out right. Mm, and a priest who watches an orphan die and then kills himself just comes out like a song? It's hard to explain. Sleep on a kid. Gotta do it.
I don't know what I'm going to do. So they're going to cancel your contract? You never know. Hey, put you on. So what? Why don't you just write the book then? <laughs> That's not that simple. Whoa. Hey, you can't give them chicken bones. Why not? Because chicken bones are hollow. Put splinters on as well. Where's your show car? Ah. I'll get it! I'll get it! Oh yeah? They love the idea. Who? What what idea? I told Frank and Lance about the project we discussed yesterday. The one about the murder? They think it's perfect for you. I know you have some issues with this, and I am sorry about that, but I need you to trust me. This is good, and I'm going to help you. In fact, I scheduled for you to meet a friend of mine on Saturday. What? Listen, Greg. This guy has done national projects and also works as a writing consultant. Jim, I don't need a consultant. You need a different writer. Greg, his name is Lee Jordan, and he can help you. The appointment's at 4 p.m. Saturday. His office is at 355 Washington Street in Brookline. You familiar with the area? Yeah. Great. Call me on Saturday. Let me know how it goes. Good on, ma'am. It's Miss. I just want a bagel and a coffee. I'll let your waitress know. Stephanie, it's your table. I'm sorry, pumpkin. Look, I left my cell phone at the sham last night. What? Yeah, I have to go get it. Um, and then I'm probably gonna go over Rob's house later. I might not be back by five. Will you cover for me? If you are not back by 5.30, I'll murder you. I love you too. Sorry, I ordered a plain bagel. This is a bagel and a coffee, just like you ordered. Yeah, it is, but I assumed... You know what, I'll just take the coffee. Maybe you should be more specific. Thanks. Hello, I have a meeting with Lee Jordan. Are you Greg Roberts? Yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Jordan has left the office. Let me see if I can get him on the phone. Got that string around my finger. What a world, lucky me. I am love. Hello? Hello, Mr. Jordan. It's Shelley. Yes. Mr. Roberts is here to see you. All right. He'd like to speak with you? Hello, Lee. Hi, Greg. Yeah, I had another appointment. Say, uh, listen, are you, uh, are you free tonight around 9? Yeah. There's this restaurant I'm really fond of. Call for self. You know where that is? Uh, yeah, I know exactly where that is. Oh, good, 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 good. What, why don't we meet there, say, around 9 o'clock? 9, 9 is good. Good, all right. Bye. <sighs> Greg Roberts. Lee Jordan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have time to stay. So, uh, why don't we just hop to it? Okay. Um, I've been having trouble with... Don't worry. Jim filled me in. I know exactly what you need to do. All right. What's that? You need to stop thinking about all those technical details in your writing style. 
and start thinking about Greg Roberts. I don't, uh, I don't get what you mean. Well. Well, back so soon. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, you've been here before, I see. Would you like to order? Unfortunately, I'm going to be going and I won't be ordering anything, but thank you for asking. Uh, I'll have a vodka martini, if you don't mind. Absolutely, sir. Would you like Smirnoff, Absolute, or Stole? I don't really have a preference. Vodka is vodka. Are you sure? Positive. Um, but how does that affect my writing? I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just not following. How can a book be written by Greg Roberts when Greg Roberts doesn't know who Greg Roberts is? You're serious? That's it. That's the best advice I can give you. That's it? That's it. Don't worry. You'll do fine. Thanks. That was quick. Yeah. Do you need anything else? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, wait. Um, Anna. Um, I just wanted to apologize for what happened earlier. Oh, that's all right. I can't let you take all the blame. I was being a bitch. <laughs> hey, you can't stop talking about how great everything is here. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. So, you are a self-loathing writer. I love to write. I just hate the business I'm in. Have you ever thought about tutoring? What do you mean, like college students? Mm, anyone. I teach in Brooklyn. Really? Where? Appleseed Elementary. Oh, I know where that is. What do you teach? Math, English, and Geography. And I know we are always looking for English tutors, and most of them are underqualified, so you could probably teach anybody you wanted, especially if you are published. Oh, that's me. It sure is strange how things turned out today, isn't it? Yes. Maybe I'll see you around. Hello, is this Appleseed Elementary? Yeah, I was wondering who I would speak with about tutoring. My name's Greg Roberts. I'm a writer. Hi. Hello. 
Can I ask you a question? Sure. I'm Greg, by the way. I'm Mike. Mike, do you know where the principal's office is? Okay. Thanks. Greg, what are you doing here? I thought about what you said about tutoring and figured I'd give it a shot. Great. I was wondering if you're going to take my advice. Do you think that you can pay attention in adult pictures during class? Yes. Come inside. Nice meeting you, Greg. You too. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Let's see what you wrote. Okay, here when you say the weather is nice, what are some more descriptive words you could use to describe the weather? Like calm? Yeah, or clear? Soft? Yeah, good, very good. Or pleasant? Awesome. Awesome. Uh, beautiful? No. So what makes something beautiful uh, instead of nice? Well, this Anna is beautiful. And you are nice. Um, okay. What are some other words? Oh, is beautiful the best word you could use to describe your teacher? What about pretty? No, pretty is just like saying, no, she's pretty. Miss Anna is beautiful. Don't you think so? I think you should use some of the words we just talked about in your writing. Hey, Miss Anna. Hello, Mikey. Hey. Hey. Your mom's going to be here soon. You have to get your stuff together. Bye, Miss Anna. Bye, Bye Mikey. Mikey. Bye, Mike. So, what were you guys working on? Uh, word exercise. Miss Anna has beautiful eyes, hmm? What? Lace. Uh, you must have just written that when I came over here. I see. It really does have potential. I know. He just needs to be more disciplined. He spends too much time dreaming. Sometimes that's what makes a good writer. Do you enjoy tutoring? Yeah, I like it a lot. Listen, would you uh, want to go get some coffee? Um, sure. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm originally from Romania. But I moved here when I was 14. Romania? How do you like it here? Oh, here is good. I mean, it's safe and people are nice. But sometimes it seems very superficial and sharp. No offense. Don't worry, I happen to agree with you. But, um, but I don't mean shallow how most do. I'm not sure I know how to express it. It just, even though I associate with a lot of people, I still feel lonely. What do you mean? Well, sometimes when I talk to my friends, I don't think they really know or want to. And that's not even the problem. It's not the problem. No. The saddest part is, is when people lie in order to become some kind of image, they lie to themselves. They lie to who they really are. And they're very unhappy. I'm oh, sorry. Let's talk about something else. Have you ever been to Eastern Europe? Uh, I plan to. I'm never allowed to stop writing. Well, you don't have to stop writing in order to travel. That is what inspires some of the greatest works of literature. 
like Hemingway. Hemingway. Hemingway wrote about war and death and then killed himself with a shotgun. But he was only examining the intricacies of human nature. He was playing with death. Trying to feel the things that society couldn't give. Maybe a little crazy, but we are all a little crazy. Most of us are just afraid to show it. So you're telling me you're crazy? Maybe. Listen, Adam, would you want to do this again? Oh, seven. Greg, I have to go. Adam, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. I'm sorry, Greg. I really have to go. Deschid ușa. Unde ai fost? De câte ori să facem asta? Ce s-a întâmplat cu Muzic? S-a terminat! Care? What are you working on? It's English paper. Oh, Mr. Hudson's paper. Yeah. I hear he's tough. He's impossible. Time to go. Don't forget your bag. Okay. Bye. Bye, Greg. Bye, Mikey. Bye, Mike.
He's a good kid. Yeah, he is. So, what happened last week? What? You, you kind of ran off. Oh, nothing. I just had to do something I completely forgot about. Really? Yeah. So, so would you have time to go somewhere now? Where? So what happened the other night? When we had coffee? Yeah. Why did you run out? I wasn't running, Greg. I told you. My father drinks, Greg. What do you mean? I mean, he's an alcoholic. And I make sure he's okay. That's why I had to leave the other night. Does he drink all the time? All the time. Has he had treatment? Yes. He has been treating with Paul for a long time now. Paul? Paul. He gave me a ride home from the restaurant the night we met. He's a psychologist and he's been treating my father. Since he started, things have been going well, but he still has an issue. So are you and Paul together? No, we're just friends. It's hard take care of an alcoholic and work two jobs at the same time. Are you seeing anyone? No. Of the fruit. Wow. <laughs> wow. Stephanie and Anna are talking instead of working. I'm amazed. <laughs> I don't know about it though. Honey, you never know about any guy that ever shows interest in you. What should I do? You want my advice? <laughs> Look, next time you meet up with them, relax. Um, let things, you know, flow naturally. And then, let them take your pants off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, uh, I think I'm gonna throw up. Are you serious? On the roof of a skyscraper? Yeah. On the second date. It wasn't really a date. It wasn't really a date. What was she wearing? Uh, none of your business. You were lame. Ah, scratch, sucker. How are you even allowed up there? I uh, know a few maintenance guys. You know a lot of losers, Greg. Yes, I do, right? Yes, they in frigidaire, Tata.
Dă un paharul. Folosește paharele de unica. Și care sunt prima asta? Dă un paharul. Nu mai a rămas nimic. Tu le ai stricat pe toate. A naiba. Crezi că te duci undeva astăzi? N-ai să te duci nicăieri. Ce ești tu? O fată americană acum? O să mă pui pe mine într-un sanatoriu particular? Now that's a good idea. Mai auzit? Am spus nu te duci nicăieri. No, this time I'm going. Bine, tata. Cine este în frigideri? O să fie acasă la miștul cu nopții. Nu lăsa pe taică tău, Oana. Eu încă sunt tatăl tău, știi? Miștul cu nopții este prea târziu pentru o doamnă să fie afară. Acum afară-o. eu sunt o femeie. Tia se jur că eu am fost o fatemică. Așa cum tu te-ai atrânat la mine. So, Anna. So, Greg. I have to ask you. What do you think of this? What? This. Me and you? I think it is good. So this is a good thing? Yeah. Okay. Good. What do you think? I think that I'd I'd love to start seeing you. Though I like what you just said very much, I have to be honest with you. I haven't been with anyone in a very long time, and I've never been with someone who wasn't Romanian, so I don't know how to go about this or what to expect. Well, then I need to be honest with you. I haven't been with anyone for a very long time either. Really? Really. How long? Two years. And so, it's important for you to know that I don't do this kind of thing often. And I really like you. Greg, I should go. Why? I don't know. It's not good. We can stop. No, no. no listen, it's just that I don't usually leave my father home alone, and I'm not sure what's going on right now. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. I don't want you to leave. I don't know, Greg. <laughs> It's just not what we're looking for, Greg. Jim, I told you there were going to be issues with this project when you first mentioned it. Yeah, and I thought we went over the fact that these issues need to be resolved. I can't force this novel, Jim. If I'm going to write it the way I know you expect me to, it's going to take some time. Jim Costa. Yeah, hi, Frank. I'll have to call you back, all right? I see your point. But unfortunately, there's no time left. The company has been producing the material we thought they would. And this project is one of our priorities. I don't know what you expect me to do. It's just the reality of the situation, Greg. And our friends who endorse you are becoming more and more aware of that reality as this project continues to be delayed. What do you mean? I mean they're reconsidering your contract. Come on, for another three books. Well, there are ways around that, too. And I'm sure our friends are aware of that reality as well. 
So what are my options? You have until July 1st. What? What is that? Six weeks? Five weeks, three days. How is that possible? You've seen where I am. I didn't set the deadline. What's wrong? Just everything with work. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, it's nothing really to talk about. It's just I might lose my job. How can they put such pressure on you? They can. Are you sure that's it? What? Is there anything else that's bothering you? I don't know. I guess I'm just not sure what I want. What do you mean? I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing. I mean, I used to be so dedicated to my writing, but now... I seem more concerned with other things. Like me? Yeah. Like you and Mikey and me. And that's bad? No. No. No, I love this. It's just, I feel a little overwhelmed lately, you know? Everything's changing. It's about 3.30 and I don't think Greg is going to make it today. Yeah, I figured out he'd be here by now if he was. Is your mom coming to pick you up? No, she doesn't get out of work until 4. Well, let me see if I can help you with something. It's okay, Miss Alma. I'll just finish it at home. Are you sure? Come on, I'm sure there is something we can work on to surprise Greg next week. Nah, thanks still. Okay. Well, I'm sure he will be here next week with a good explanation about why he couldn't make it. I know. See you tomorrow, Mikey. Bye, Miss Anna.
Anna? Oh, hi. You're Greg's friend, Ryan. He told me you live right across from him. Oh, hi. Anna, yes. It's nice to finally meet you. Likewise. Um, listen, do you know what's going on with Greg? No, no. Actually, I, I don't. I haven't seen him in a while. He hasn't talked to you or anything? No, I came by the other day to see if he was home, but he didn't answer, so I kind of thought he was with you. You walk Casey when Greg visits his family, right? Yeah. So you have a key to his apartment? Yeah. Would you mind opening the door? I'm worried about him. Um, sure. Hold on. from you in a week and a half. You haven't called me. You haven't returned my calls. You haven't been to the school. Mikey was there this week and last week and you didn't show. He really likes you, Greg. I'm sorry. Is that all you have to say? Uh, I've just been under a lot of stress lately. Greg, we haven't been seeing each other that long. I thought we had something good. We do. Not when I don't hear from you and for a week and a half and you act like nothing's wrong. What is with all this alcohol? The creative process. It's 5.30, Greg. How much did you have to drink? Apparently, not enough. What is this? What, do you get drunk and try to write? Is that what you do? Sometimes, yes. Why? Because
because it helps me feel things I don't normally feel. Like what? Like passion, for example. Like passion, for example? It was an example, Hannah. You're not stupid. Listen. No, 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 no. Don't tell me. Why? Why? Why is this so... Why is this so hard? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Hello? Hello, Greg. Who's calling? Hi, Greg. It's Lee Jordan. Uh, the writing consultant. Bingo. A little early to be calling, don't you think? Nah, I knew you'd be up. Oh, really? How's that? Writers never sleep, Greg. You know that. <sighs> I'm sorry, Lee. Uh, that was not a good time for me. Oh, oh, uh, I'm sorry to bother you, Greg, but... I talked to Jim and he said that he was still having problems with the project. Yeah, I am, but again, Lee, now is not a good time for me. I just want to say one thing, Greg, okay? You can write any way you want. Hell, you can live your life any way you want. But it isn't going to make a damn bit worth a difference to anyone, including you, unless everything you do comes genuinely from the heart of Greg Roberts. And you have to know who he is before you can do that. Good morning, Greg. Mike, hey, Mike. Mike. I wanted to talk to you about the last few weeks. Are you not showing up? Yeah, I felt that. Nothing much to talk about. Couldn't make it. It's not a big deal. It is a big deal, Mike. No, it isn't. You're a busy writer. I don't want to waste your time. Mike. First of all, you're not a waste of my time. Second, it is a big deal. You should have been here. Or at least told you ahead of time that I wasn't going to make it. It was a very bad move on my part. And 
I want to make it up to you. I was wondering if maybe you wanted to work on your paper today. I can't. Why not? I told my mom you weren't coming anymore. So now she works her regular hours. Your mom changed her hours? Yeah. I'm gonna miss my bus. Mike, I'll be here Thursday, all right? Tell your mom that I'll be here Thursday. Yes. Hello? Greg? Hey, it's Jim. Hey, Jim. Did you get what I sent you? Yeah. Yes, we did. That's why I'm calling. Okay. Much, much better. Good. But we do need to have a sense of direction of where this is going. You know, it's hard to get a feel for a project when it's only half written. Well, I'd say we're doing pretty well, considering uh, you started from scratch three weeks ago. I agree. But, just know, people are waiting. I understand. All right, Greg. Bye, Jim. How am I supposed to write when I don't feel like writing? Sometimes you just have to write. I have to write all the time when I don't want to. Really? Absolutely. And sometimes I have to write about things I don't want to. So, uh, how do you do it? Well, I find something that I feel passionate about, and I use that to inspire what I write. Like what? Something that made me feel really happy, or really sad, or confused. Um, is there anything like that in your memory that really sticks out that you, you really couldn't forget? Yeah. Okay, what? I found a leaf. But not just a leaf. A leaf that was perfect for me. Perfect for you? Yes. It was bright red and it didn't have any spots on it. It fit perfect in my hand. The leaf was perfect for me. Hmm. Yeah, I know what you mean. But when we got back to the bus, this kid named Tony Peters took it from me. What happened? He wouldn't give it back. Did you tell the teacher? No way. Why not? Because it was my leaf and I wanted to get it back myself. I hit him. What do you mean you hit him? I broke his nose. Was it worth it? Yes. I don't understand, Mike. I spent all day looking for something. And when I finally find it, it's mine. That leaf was mine. And Tony, who doesn't care about the leaf at all, tried to take it away from me. And you did nothing to get it. It's not fair. Greg? I want to say that I think what you're doing for Mikey is very nice. But if you are just doing no. this... I'm doing it for him. Really? Maybe a little bit for me. I'm doing it for Mikey, but I do miss you. Greg, I can't talk about this right now. I understand. We don't need to talk about it, but I do miss you. Okay. I have to go.
Yeah, of course. Is everything all right? Not really. What's the matter? I'm sorry to barge in on you like this. No, don't worry about it. I just needed to be... Something happened. And I just needed to be somewhere I felt safe. And that's here. What happened? I was out with a friend tonight, and we were in the car, and we were about to drive home. Now, is this just a friend, or is this... No, Greg, a friend. I'm not ready to see anybody else. I don't want to see anybody else. Well... We were about to leave, and he starts telling me about all these feelings he has for me. And I told him, I am sorry, but I'm not interested, and I am involved with someone else. But he didn't believe me, and he, st he wouldn't stop telling me about all these feelings he had, and he tried to kiss me, and I tried to push away, and he tried harder. What happened, Anna? Nothing. I just got out of the car and I came here. Who is this guy? Do you remember my friend Paul? The same guy who treated your father? Yes. Where does he live? Greg, why? Because I'd like to speak with this guy. What are you going to say to him? That you're spoken for. I don't think that going to his house is a good idea. I want to talk to this guy. I don't want you to threaten him. I just want him to know that I'm not available. I'm not going to threaten him. Hi, Paul. Hi, my name's Greg. I heard about a little incident that occurred earlier tonight between you and Anna. What's up? I just wanted to make sure that sort of thing is not going to happen again. What's that? I'm Anna's boyfriend. All right. What did he say? He said he was sorry and that it wouldn't happen again. Really? Yeah. Thank you. to go to a meeting. Okay. No, no, no. You can stay here. I'll be back in a couple hours. Are you sure? Yeah. Hi. 
Crime scene. But I live here. What apartment? Nine. Something to eat. I'm sorry. I have to. I have to be alone. Is that all you can say? What do you want me to say?
tried to push away, and he tried harder. What's going on? Why did you do that? Do what? 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 Help! Help! Why did you do that to her? Look, it's you. Look, look. I would never do anything to you. Why? You had the wrong idea. I would never hurt her. I would never hurt her. <laughs> Why did you do it? I never What did you say? You didn't deserve her. No one did. <coughs> what is it going to take for you not to kill me? That's great, Jim. That's really great. I know. There's just one thing. Does he get away with it? I mean, I know that the ending's supposed to be vague, but I'm curious. Doesn't matter. That guilt is going to be such a big burden to me, even if
か？